Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show a little bit special way to create logo designs. Many of you asked me how I created this seahorse logo in the speed art video, and many other also asked how to create logo designs from real images. So I decided to make this tutorial to show you how to do it. Today you will learn how I created this swan logo from this picture. Have a nice watching. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a website, a domain, or an online store, do it with Squarespace. Okay, this is a random swan image that I picked from the internet, you can search and pick the photo that you want. With this method, I make no sketching, just the image on the background, then I trace on it. Select the image. Decrease the opacity. And then go to Object, Lock, Selection. Select the brush tool. Double click on it. This option panel will pop up. Make sure to increase the fidelity to the maximum smooth level. And then press OK. Change the fill color to empty. And the stroke color to white. Now, I start drawing slowly on top of the image. I am tracing the parts of the swan and ignoring the little details. That will make it more geometric and simple. Draw slowly, and don't be afraid to mess it up, just follow the reference image, and the brush tool will make it for you. That's why we increased the smooth level. This is the start, and we will work on it later. After the tracing phase, you can change anything you want in the outline. I think it will look better if I move this up here. And I will move these a little bit right. Okay, as this are opened paths, we will make sure to connect everything so we can work on it easier later. Press Ctrl Y or Command Y to activate the outline view. With the direct selection tool, look at every open part, and drag the anchor point and connect it to the other. Check every part, and if a curve changed or anything get messed up you can always use the direct selection tool to fix it. Ok, every part of us one is connected now. Select everything, and with the shape builder, drag on every part of the swan to turn it into a shape.
It doesn't work here. I think the path is left opened. Zoom in and press Ctrl Y or Command Y to activate the outline view. Okay, this is the problem. I have to connect this point. Select the head parts and with the shape builder, drag on the head. Now, after using the shape builder with this way, the useless part will be disconnected from the shapes created. Try to take it off. OK, this our clean swan logo outline. I'll try to connect this two parts together. Select the two parts, and from the Pathfinder, click on Unite. Now, select everything, and then click here to set the default fill and stroke, to see everything clear. I want to add some negative space, to make every part stands out. I select this part, and then I select the Rotate tool, and I reposition the reference point here, and I hold Alt and drag up. I hold shift and select the other part of the swan. Now from the pathfinder, I click on minus front. Now I hold alt, and I drag this part down a little. Then I select the two parts together, and from the pathfinder, I click on minus front. Now, I select the neck part. Then I go to Object, Path, then click on Offset Path, I'll keep the value to 10, and I press OK. With the new created offset selected, hold Shift and select the beak, and from the Pathfinder, click on Minus Front. OK, select everything, and click here to remove the stroke. You can see that our swan logo start to look good. This method is not accurate as the pen tool, you will find many errors that needs to be fixed and many additional anchor points that needs to be removed. You can see that this part is not smooth enough, so I will fix it with the pen tool. One click here, and drag to right, and one click here and drag up. Then close the path, if you are not good using the pen tool, don't worry, I will make a tutorial about it very soon. Ok, select the new created shape with the other parts, and from the pathfinder, click on unite. Select the beak, and give it an orange color. This negative space looks smaller than the upper one, so I will move this part with the arrow keys a little bit down. Ok, now it looks good. With the direct selection tool, select this point, and drag the live widget to make the beak tip a little rounded. Now hold shift, and select this two anchor points, and drag the live widgets to make it rounded. Ok, this is pretty much our logo. As I told you this method will require cleaning the extra anchor points, I will show you how to do that in another video. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to get exposure and show your work to the world, you can quickly and easily start your own online portfolio website with Squarespace. You don't need any previous coding or web design experience. You will simply use one of their many great templates and customize it as you want. Visit the link in the description to get 10% off with your first order. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to tell me if you learned something new from this video and what it is. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you for your attention and see you in another video.